This is the library management system developed in VV6 and MS Access. Okay, Visual V6 6.0 and MS Access. Some report is created in Crystal Report 9. Okay, so once you buy this project, you will get these files. The source code folder, which include all the forms, then uh, database, and then report Crystal Report files. Okay, and uh, other files like you will get the project report, synopsis, installation guide. Okay, so first we will uh, start Visual Basic 6.0. I am using Windows 10, 64 bit. So better you use uh, 32 bit system. Okay. Uh, first you have to select a Visual Basic 6.0 shortcut. Then you can directly open or better to use as a runner as administrator okay click on yes okay click cancel just uh, go to source code folder copy the path and click file open project paste the source code folder path open you have to select a library model dot BBP. This will basic project file. Okay. This will open your project. This is project explorer. So nothing you have to do here except if you want to change any uh, text or anything, you can change here. Okay. So like this is a uh, login form. So it is a very basic code like we are using that all the record set, then open that password, then compare and record count. So it is a basic VV6 code actually. Okay. So all the forms like you can just open and see all the uh, code if you want to edit code, just double click the code. You will get the event and you can get the code. Okay. So everything is done so for that uh, uh, user id and password you can use for the data.mdb it is the database access database this is the password tpla so you can open that this is the my password admin is the user id and admin is the password so i will just uh, start my project so for run the project, you have to click this icon, start icon. So admin and admin is my user and password. Okay, this is the screen. Okay, so first up in the library, you have to maintain the book and publisher. Okay, so the all book already there. So if you can display the book, so the books already are available. So I want to just add a new book. Okay, so you can add publisher also like whoever the publisher or if you want you can add new or i'll just uh, add the first book okay so new book i'll click so this is a book id auto generated book id title so book title is um, mbc what is the page count 10 is the primary main page is uh, 300 post page count 10 and publish year 2019 author so Mr. publisher id so i'll give the publisher name it will not really come then price what is the price say 1000 rupees and book category what is the category? I will say programming. Keyword. Okay, so keyword means uh, this will be uh, for searching it can be used. So I will add NBC and uh, ESP.NET web extract. Okay. Now purchase source. So bookstore description. So I will give the same description. Then save. Record save successfully. Do I want to add more record? No. Now this can be seen in the display book category. This is the latest book I have added. Okay. Now here you can use that your crystal report to print the books also. Okay. 
So for crystal report, you have to install crystal report. I'll just show you one second. So you have to install this crystal report 9.0 or 8.5. Okay. So for this particular report version or report part, you have to install this one version only. Okay. Latest version may not work. Okay. So once you install, you can just uh, nothing to do just uh, you can run uh, you suppose you want to print this particular selection just click on print print a uh, book card or print list of books and list of books i'll tell you what is the book of card this is a register okay the book register okay now book card what book card is book card basically uh, it is a for library they maintain that uh, card or they can uh, print that uh, book or uh, details okay and uh, whenever any student uh, take these books they will enter these things like oh issue two issue date receive date check everything okay so this is obviously maintained in the library okay same thing print book level also there so it will basically it will uh, take a blank notepad and it will print the book uh, level basically okay so okay now after that there is a library member member you have to add so you can add any number of member so i'll add one new member so this is the registration date today is the title so mr on a okay first name sorry so only Mr. Repair here and only kids. And second one you can say Mati. And what is the date of birth? So I can give any date of birth. Profession say programmer. Qualification say graduate. And address I can put in my postal code country India. And say okay. So this is the record, last record I have set. ID member ID is important six. Okay, so once it is added, you have to. Uh, this is the employee master basically who can log in in the system. That is the employee master. Okay, so same way you can add also. Like I want to create a new library card. So library card, I have to select the member type. So employee also can be member of the library. So I will not to mention that employee. I will say member. Member ID I have created six. I will select six. The details will be automatically come. From database, what is the validity? Validity for the one year, okay, from to last. So category, so who will create by? This is the employee name, okay. So I select one. Note is not I mean, uh, compulsory. Library card will be created is 44, 14. Okay, so do you want to create more library card? No. So I create already 14. Now, now if I go to the display library card, so this is the last I have created today, okay. So now I want to print this library card also. Print, select print font size. So basically, it is a card will print like this. Shamni Kalmati, what is the date of registration? Library card number, date. So you can take a printout and you can give to that uh, particular member, or you can select all and you can print all if you want to print font side also. So my back side also. Okay, one so you can cut this and you can take a printout. Now back side means inside of that particular portion. The same way this will be the issue because whenever that uh, particular librarian issue any book, they will just uh, enter the details here also. Okay. Now there will be modify library card. If I want to change that uh, from to date expiry that I can edit like this one the latest one is 14 so if I want to renew I can use this model okay now the next is search library card if I want to many library card is there if I want to search so I want to search by member I'll click on member and display search so what all members will display okay there's a different option for search now there is a option called library card status so whatever library card what is the status any book is issued so it will display what is the book issued and this is a new card so no book is issued on this card okay 
so we can filter book receiver or or you can just take uh, now next you have to issue the book okay now this are uh, this is that uh, where you have to select the book and member so i can find the book also like mbc we have added so i will just type mbc and we see so mbc and find so it will not really come so you have to just double click here so book details will not really come this mbc pattern Now, this details will automatically come and this book is available for issuing. Okay, now library card. Same way you can find the library card also. Like I want to find my members, member name. Only check. Find. So it will come. They double click here. The details will automatically come. Holder ID, everything. No book issued in this library card. Now, you have to just click on book issue. Issuing books. If you want to issue more book, no. Okay, so again if you go to issuing book and if you select that book ID 10 so it will show this book is not available because this book is issued to library card number 14 okay so because we have issued already okay same way if you select that particular card already book issue, issued book number 10 to library card so I cannot issue so no book cannot be issued okay so the validation is there same way receive book once that person return the book transition id you have to just select okay so it will show which book is available okay to receive so you have to see all the details and then you have to click on receive book receive you want to receive more book no now if i go again issuing book it will allow now transition report so two days i can show the transition or I can select for all the date or I can select for the period and this is the last transaction is done okay so I can print out all the details like select all print or I can select only particular details I want print so this select record will display in digital report once the report is displayed you can take a print out you can export to PDF whatever you want there is other report of transition report security like uh, change password is there like create new system user is there okay. then set village like you want to change that uh, role of that particular user you can do from here and uh, let find also calculation is there and member will already display uh, explain what is the member okay so this is the project it is developed in vv6 and uh, MSX is the backend and digital report used for reporting purpose. Okay, all the once you buy, you will get all these files, source code, including database and all forms, then installation guide, project report, and synopsis. This is a actually very good project. You can use in live scenario also, like any school or any small library, you can use this project. Or you can use this for learning purpose also.